guys, I'm finally feeling better. Thank you to everyone out there who sent me get well soon messages. They really meant a lot and they helped me when I was lying in bed sick and just being disgusting and just ugh. I'm so glad to be back. Usually lying in bed, watching anime and movies is like the highlight of my life, but when you're sick, nothing is a highlight. Everything is just a low light. It's not fun. So yeah, for today's video, I thought I'd do a March favorites because March just went and April is starting. So yeah, today's video is going to be a March favorite. So I'll be showing you guys all my favorites from the past month. So I'll show you guys like my favorite clothing and accessories, my favorite skincare and beauty products, and last but not least, my favorite entertainment things this month. So yeah, let's just jump straight in with it. And I'm going to start off with the beauty and skincare products. Okay, so the first thing on my list has to be the Balm New Tooth Palette. This eyeshadow palette is like mm, gold. It is beautiful, beautiful shimmering goldness sent from the sky above. I've always been a huge fan of the Balm products. They have amazing eyeshadows, bronzers, blushes, like pretty much everything is amazing from them. But it was always a little bit difficult to get your hands on their pieces. But they recently have come out in uh, Super Drugs. But yeah, anyway, this is the Balm New Tude Palette. This is what it looks like. It's got a bunch of beautiful nude shades and it's got a mix of matte shades and shimmery shades. You can create pretty much any kind of look with this palette from every day to night out to even wedding makeup. So this stuff is like the bomb.com. It is amazing. I'm actually wearing some of the colors on my eyes today and I will be filming a makeup tutorial using this palette very soon so keep your eyes peeled for that. But yeah that is my first favourite for this month. The next favourite I have is from Lancome. I hope I pronounced that correctly but yeah it's a miracle cushion foundation. I've always been really interested in cushion foundations but I've only ever found them online and when it comes to buying foundations online I'm always just a bit skeptical because I'm not sure if the shade will suit me so when I found out they actually started selling these in the UK I was like yes I'ma be there and I'ma buy it. So the one that I picked up and I've been loving recently is the Lancome Miracle Cushion Foundation in shade shade 4. So this is what it looks like. You just press a little button here and it will pop right open and on the inside you have a nice handy dandy mirror and then you've got this little applicator right here that you pretty much just slide on your three fingers and pat on your face. As you can see I have used it two or three times and I will be giving this a wash very soon. But yeah once you move the applicator you've got this little plastic covering that you just lift up and move to a side and then on the inside that's where you have your foundation and it's literally just a sponge that's been soaked in foundation but it's very light and very thin. One thing I really love about this is the fact that it's quite compact. I know when you're looking at it you're probably thinking compact or what but trust me it is because you have pretty much everything you need in here. You have your foundation, you have your mirror and you have your applicator so you know you don't have to worry about you know carrying around your beauty blender or a spare mirror or like your NARS foundation or whatever foundation it is that you use. This is literally all you need. I really like the formula. It glides on. It's super light, super silky. It doesn't get too cakey or gross. Like no matter how much you layer on you will not look cakey. And it gives you a light to medium coverage. If you do want more coverage, you can just pat more layers on and that's pretty much it. The next thing that I have in my favorites are these Ardell Demi Wispy Lashes. I heard so many amazing things about these lashes online that I thought, you know what, I'ma try them, I'ma buy them, I'ma see how they are. And honestly, they live up to the hype. They're actually really, really good. These are awesome and they make your eyes look absolutely stunning and amazing and they just finish off like any makeup look and they don't like swallow the whole eye as well. Like usually I like wearing this with either just a little bit of eyeliner or maybe some eyeliner and just some neutral eyeshadows, which is basically what I've done today. And I really like it. I think it looks pretty down a fabulous. The next thing they have in my favourites is Love Me Beauty and for those guys who follow me on Instagram or Snapchat, you guys know I love Love Me Beauty. Getting to pick my favourite beauty products every month is like my favourite thing to do. I mean who doesn't love picking beauty products? I do and then it gets sent to you and then you try it and you love it. But yeah basically Love Me Beauty is an online website where you get a beauty membership so you pay £10 each month and each month you get to pick whatever beauty products you would like from their little store and they get sent to you. And all the products that you actually get are worth £42 so getting to pay just £10 for all of that is like mm, a bargain. And not only that, but they also always have high-end products. So last month they had Cordelite, they had Rodeal. I really hope I'm pronouncing these right. Um, I also saw Tangle Teaser, and this month they've got Nails Inc. And they also have Makeup Forever. So I'm just going to show you some of the products I got from Love & Beauty over the past two months. And keep in mind, this is not all the products. This is some of the products. I've got the Kaylin Extreme Matte Tint, which is basically one of those liquid lipsticks. And this is in the shade 42. I've also got some awesome Rodeal products. I've got their Stem Cell Superfood Cleanser, which is a two-in-one cleanser and mask. Their Stem Cell Superfood Glam Balm Multi and their Dragon's Blood Moisturiser. I also got the NUXE Face Cleansing and Makeup Removing Gel, which is super awesome. And I also got the Marlon and Goetz Clarifying Clay Mask, which is seriously the bee's knees. And then last month, I got a bunch of awesome Cordelite products. So I've got their Makeup Removing Cleansing Oil, which is so amazing. The other Cordelite products I have are their Micellar Cleansing Water, the Vino Perfect Radiant Serum for Complexion Correcting, the Anti Wrinkle Defense Serum, and the Divine Oil for Face, Body, and Hair, which I've actually been using recently and I love it so much. It smells divine fine and it is beautiful. And I've also got a Dr. Lip Original Nipple Balm for lips which I know sounds a bit funny but seriously this stuff is amazing at keeping your lips moisturised. But yeah that is just some of the products that I got over the past two months. I actually have 
a lot more than this but these are just some of my favorite ones that I've been loving and I honestly just love my Love Me Beauty it's just amazing if you guys are interested in Love Me Beauty I'll put all their details down below as well as on my blog which is simachowdery.co.uk but yeah that is one of my favorites for this month the next thing that I have in my favorites is coconut oil I know I'm extremely late jumping onto the coconut bandwagon but alas I am here basically started using it and this stuff is literally a savior a savior I use this stuff on my hair and sometimes on my body but it is amazing no matter where you use it, especially on the hair. As you guys can see, it's pretty much a solid, but this stuff literally melts under the skin so well. I just get a scoop, I put it on my hands, and I melt it between my palms. And then I just rub it all over my hair and on my body if I would like to. And it is fabulous. And you can pretty much pick this up from anywhere. Tesco, Asda, Superdrugs, um, Boots, you know, like all the beauty stores, even like food stores, they sell them because, you know, you can't eat this stuff. So yeah, I've been loving coconut oil, and y'all need to get on the coconut bandwagon if you guys are not there yet, because seriously, I was late to the party and I regret it so much because this stuff is literally a savior. But yeah, the last product that I have in the beauty and skincare section is the Miss Millie's Loving Oil, which is a moisturizing body oil with jojoba oil and castor oil. It is jojoba oil, right? Not jojoba. It is. It is jojoba oil. My mind is playing tricks on me. As you guys can see, this has been through quite a lot because it does look a bit grubby, but it's honestly it's because I've been using it non-stop for like the past, I don't know, six months plus. I've literally been using this forever. I have no idea how it hasn't finished yet. It's just about hit halfway now. But yeah, this stuff is awesome. It's suitable for all skin types. I pretty much just slather it all over my body once I've stepped out of the shower. So it just absorbs in and locks all the moisture in. And I just feel so delicious and amazing. And I feel delicious because it smells delicious. I mean, it's caramel and vanilla. When you first smell it, it can smell a little strong, but once you put it on the body and it just melts into the skin, you just smell like a beautiful dessert. And you don't need to apply any perfume. So that's a bonus for me because I literally only own one perfume. But yeah, for these guys who have been following me for a while, you guys know I love Mr. Millie's products. I own quite a lot of them. I have their body butters, I've got some of their hair products, I own their lip balms and I use them pretty much all the time and I've been a Mrs. Millie's addict for a long time now. But yeah, that is the last of the beauty and skincare products we have. Next up, we have clothing and accessories. So in the clothing and accessories department, we only have two things and the first thing is this awesome necklace that I'm wearing today and it's from Topshop. It looks like silky silver cobwebs and it's just so beautiful, like liquid silver I've just poured on myself and I just, ah, oh, I feel like a queen in this. The last thing that I have in my clothing favorites are these gorgeous pink heels I got from Public Desire. For those of you guys who watched my last clothing haul, they were in there and I've been literally wearing these non-stop ever since. I've been pairing them with as many outfits as I possibly can. They are so gorgeous and they literally go with every single outfit that I have. I don't generally tend to go for pink, but this shade of pink is so beautiful and oh my god, I just noticed a bit of mud on the bottom. That's how much I've worn them. I need to clean them. But yeah, these are absolutely gorgeous. I love them and I just feel so fabulous in them. So we're finally on to the entertainment category and I have like five things to talk about. I'm gonna try and wrap it up real quick because usually when it comes to this topic, that's when I talk for like 10 to 20 minutes and we cannot have that happening here. So the first thing that I have in my entertainment list is an anime called Erased. It is seriously one of the best, most well thought out animes I have ever watched in my entire life. It's pretty short, just 12 episodes and each episode is like 20 minutes. For those of you guys who follow me on Tumblr or Snapchat or for those of you guys who have seen my anime recommendation video, which you guys can watch over here just by clicking on that and I'll also link it down below, you guys already know I love this anime. Long story short, it's basically a psychological thriller mystery anime. It's basically about a guy who has this thing called revival. It's not really a superpower or anything, but it's like a gift, I guess. But yeah, he can basically go back in time for like maybe like five minutes or something to basically stop something bad from happening, but he has no control over it and it's usually something that just happens out of the blue and he's basically forced to deal with it because he gets sent back in time. And basically one day something happens related to his childhood, so instead of going back five minutes, he goes back to his childhood. So you see him as a little boy and little boy him is so adorable. And it's just super interesting because he's a grown man in a child's body who went back in the past and he has to deal with this thing and try and solve the mystery and it's just, oh, it's so good. But yeah, I'm gonna leave it there and move on to the next one, which is basically a movie movie and the movie that I've been loving right lately has to be Deadpool. It's a Marvel movie but it's not really a superhero movie because we can't really call him a superhero. He's a merc with a mouth. He's basically a mercenary. It's basically about a guy who has cancer. Uh, this organization is telling him that they're gonna get rid of his cancer and help him and save him. Uh, loads of bad things happen. It's pretty hilarious and awesome but I will say it is quite inappropriate so if you guys do watch it then that is your own sins i will not be getting your sins that is your own sins nah man i have warned you it's a bit naughty but if you guys want to watch it it's your choice next up we have songs slash albums and my favorite song currently has to be jesse's new song called excessive love and oh my lord 
this is such a beautiful be beautiful why did my accent change <laughs> it's such a beautiful amazing song I just oh I love it so much it's a Korean song and it's amazing and it's beautiful and Jessie is just amazing my favorite album has to be got Seven's new album which is fly log departure I love it so much all the songs on there are so awesome and the dance to fly it's just so cute but yeah it's a super awesome album and my favorite song on the album probably has to be begging on your knees or fly I think it's begging on your knees even though fly is super amazing I just really love begging on your knees it's just it's such a tune but yeah that is my favorite album of the moment next up and the last thing that we have in this list is my favorite show and it's actually a pretty old show it came out back in I think 2014 but me and Tal just got into it last month and it's a Netflix show called Marco Polo it's about a little Venetian boy well he's not really a boy he's a man who's in the court of Kublai Khan and it's super awesome and I know I keep saying super awesome after everything and I need to stop but alas we're at the end of the video what can we do now but yeah it's really cool and dramatic there's a lot of action in it and then fighting and blood and then there's also some inappropriate parts so if you watch it, it's on you. Uh, but yeah, it's really cool, really interesting. And yeah, guys, it's everything they have in my March favorites video. If you guys like links to any of the things I mentioned in this video, then please go to my blog, which is simonchowdy.co.uk. I will have everything linked on there with all their names and details and stuff like that. And remember, you guys can follow me on social media at simonsmilesike on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, all those good stuff. And yeah, that brings us to the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope this helped you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.